Cole is definitely a double-edged sword. It has been around since the 19th century because it's cheap and abundant, it's easy to get to, and it's easy to get to a lot of it at once. The other edge is that it has a lot of negative health impacts and negative environmental impacts. It releases gases and other emissions that are toxic, that are carcinogens that cause cancer, and it also emits greenhouse gases which cause global warming and climate change. We're in a love affair with coal right now because of the way that we live. We love to use electricity. We love our TVs. We love our phones. We love our medical equipment to help keep us alive. If we got rid of coal, we wouldn't be able to live the lifestyle that we like to live. World demand for electricity is increasing. In fact, it's projected to double by 2030. Two of the places where there's the most coal reserves are right here in the United States, and that's Appalachia and Powder River Basin in Wyoming and Montana. The U.S. exports a lot of coal and China imports a lot of coal. And so that leads to a lot of money exchanging hands. Sometimes when coal is burned in China, mercury, which is a very toxic substance, is transported all the way across the Pacific Ocean to California and deposited in the U.S. China coal consumption has increased 400% since 1980. China is using so much because they've been growing so much that they're making more cars and they're making more products and their people are buying more products. It's a twisted love affair. It's a complicated love affair. We depend on it for everything that we do, but at the same time, it's killing us. We are going to run out of coal. It's just a question of when.